the activity, uh, the theater activity that has become the theater, dance, and film department began in the uh, fall of 1969 when uh, Dominican father, Father Leo Pelkington, was assigned to the college and uh, he began uh, organizing theater activity in what was a, a former storage room in the basement of Stephen Hall. I was a freshman in the fall of 1969, so I actually have been involved from the beginning. For January of 1976, the Bicentennial, we should do something a little more elaborate than could be done in the Friar Cell, which was a, effectively a black box theater, 100 seats, and uh, they supported the idea of doing a larger production in Harkins Auditorium, or what was then, and had been for many years, Harkins Auditorium. So we managed to carve out several weeks as, uh, in order to produce the play 1776. And that was our foothold, really, in Harkins Auditorium. But after that, it became clear that uh, that was a better option for the growth of the program than the Friar Cell had been, although the Friar Cell was much beloved. It was a beautiful little intimate theater, but it was the growth possibilities were, were very limited. When John graduated and got his MFA from uh, Catholic U, he came back and became the head of this program. So they called us the theater program. He was the one-man show, and the budget allowed him to hire someone else. So we became a two-person team. We did four productions, which is amazing, considering the amount of uh, faculty. Uh, and we had, I think, very high-caliber shows. The first show I did here was Mother Courage. We had a set that ran down the middle of the space. Uh, with kind of camps on either end that was truly a work of art. But after a, a production, I believe it was in 77, there was a controversy over whether the room should be devoted to theater exclusively or whether it should continue to be sort of a, a, a general assembly room. And uh, happily, a decision was made that uh, a stage, a permanent stage, would be dedicated to theater and converted into the Blackfriars Theater. Uh, there had also been theater activity in the 50s and 60s in New York uh, produced by uh, Dominican Fathers, Catholic theater movement, and they were called the Blackfriars Guilds. And so the Blackfriars Theater became uh, our home. I think 81 or 82, the college decided to revamp the space and give us a temporary Blackfriars Theater. Uh, we stayed there for 20 to 23 years until Father Smith greenlighted uh, a project that would finally bring a performing arts center, a center for the arts, to the college. All of a sudden we had all the toys to play with. We had trap doors, we had flies, we had uh, catwalks, we had a scene shop that was immediately accessible not only to the actors and designers but to the trucks that would pull in. The program has grown in very interesting ways. As I said, early on, we had a program, not a department. We're a department now with majors and minors. We have a minor in dance and a minor in film, in addition to a theater major and minor. When I started, the program was small. We had a few students who were very, very interested, very excited about getting involved in dance uh, who, because they had been involved in dance all of their lives up until that point. And we were able to give them a serious course of study where they learned about dance history, dance criticism, in addition to being able to dance in the studio. And they learned about choreography. The program did grow over time and we're building the program so that students can study with various people in the faculty and also many, many guest artists with the Providence College Dance Company. Um, people come here because they like the opportunity to minor in dance as well as get a great liberal arts education. Uh, the film program started in 1992 when Father Jim Quigley invited me to come here to Providence College to offer some film courses. And then over the years it's developed actually into a minor program. We have a number of courses, a number of uh, different professors offering those courses from history to, to screenwriting to uh, theory to uh, women in cinema, uh, world cinema. We have all these courses. Uh, my uh, emphasis is on production. 
uh, and I'm very excited with our uh, production capabilities. We have fabulous HD cameras, we have a wonderful Mac lab. Uh, students learn Final Cut Pro, which is the, um, the, the program that everybody uses these days to edit. And so uh, the students that go through our minor program, they come out of here with, a, with enough knowledge and background and history of cinema for, to appreciate, for appreciation. And then they also learn how to, uh, to become storytellers and to use the medium, to use digital video actually, uh, to tell a visual story. At the end of uh, spring semester every year, we have a student film festival. And in this fest, uh, our advanced students present to the college campus their best work. And it's a great event. Uh, and I'm just so pleased with the quality of work uh, that students are able to produce. A number of students have gone on to work in Hollywood, to work in uh, New York. Uh, and uh, it's a great program and um, a gem. Uh, within the theater, dance, and film department and for the school.